Continuing with our File Catalyst for Linux videos, we will show you how to install File Catalyst as a service. It is assumed that certain packages are installed such as OpenJDK, 2 DOS, and sysv-rc-conf. You must also have super user privileges, so on Ubuntu distributions, be sure to sudo su before proceeding. First, let's make directories for the File Catalyst server and admin tool at the recommended default locations. Once you're done that, use SCP or another preferred method to transfer the File Catalyst server tarball to the server machine. I've already placed mine in my home directory. Let's have a look. Next, let's move the File Catalyst server tarball into place. Then, we'll G unzip and unpack the tar. Modify permissions on the shell scripts in both the service wrapper and default directories so that they execute properly. Now you can run the script to install File Catalyst Server as a service. If you check the status of the service, you'll see that it's not running. This is because the File Catalyst Server isn't licensed yet. Let's go ahead and do that. Run the headless version of the application by executing fc underscore server underscore console dot sh. This will give you a request string, which you can supply to your File Catalyst representative. Once they have replied with a license key, make sure the service is stopped, and using the editor of your choice, edit fcconf.conf, which is found in the install directory. Find the line with the text license in it, and enter the key. Exit, and save the file. Now you can start up the service, and if we check its status, you'll see that it's running. Now that File Catalyst is running as a service, you should be connecting to it with the File Catalyst Server Administration Tool in order to make changes. Check this channel or our website for videos showing how to make that connection. Thanks for watching.